now that you know how to find the LCM and GCF, let's take a quiz. Make sure you have your own paper out. Question 1. What list contains factors of 24? A. 2, 3, and 5. B. 24, 48, 72. C. 6, 8, and 12. Or D. 10, 12, and 14. Before selecting the right answer, let's get rid of wrong choices. Which list cannot contain factors of 24? Choice B doesn't contain the factors of 24, it contains the multiples. B is obviously incorrect. The rest of the choices contain factors of 24 except 2. Which two numbers in the remaining list are not factors of 24? To get the answer, it would help if you wrote down the factors of 24. They are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. By using the list of factors, you can eliminate 5 in choice A and 14 in choice D. The correct answer would be C, 6, 8, and 12. Question 2. What is the LCM of 4, 8, and 10? Is it A, 2, B, 4, C, 20, or D, 40? Before you answer, write the multiples of 4, 8, and 10 horizontally across your page and find the common multiples. You should have the following list of multiples on your paper. Now look at your answer choices. Two of them are obviously wrong. Which two answer choices cannot be the LCM of 4, 8, or 10? The multiples of 10 start with 10. Any answer choice that is smaller than 10 cannot possibly be correct. 2 is actually the GCF of 4, 8, and 10. Of the choices left, 20 and 40, look at 21st. 20 appears in the multiples of 4 and the multiples of 10, but not the multiples of 8. However, 40 is a multiple of 4, a multiple of 8, and a multiple of 10. That means that 40 is the least common multiple of 4, 8, and 10. From behind the Wortham Theater in Houston, Texas, more star questions. Question three. The angles of any triangle will have a sum of 
how many degrees? Choices are A, 90, B, 180, C, 270, or D, 360. The correct answer is B. The angles of any triangle will have a sum of 180 degrees. Question four. Two equal ratios form A, A percent, B denominator, C expression, or D proportion. Answer, two equal ratios form a proportion. Two equal ratios form a proportion. D was the correct answer. Question five. It takes about how many diameters to make a circumference? A, two, B, three, C, four, or D, six. Answer, to make a circumference, you need about three diameters. Three diameters make a circumference. Question six. To convert a fraction to a decimal, you would A, divide the denominator into the numerator, B, multiply the denominator and numerator, or C, divide the numerator into the denominator. Answer, to convert a fraction to a decimal, you have to divide. That eliminates choice B. The correct answer would be A. You divide the denominator into the numerator. This process is shown in the diagram. To convert 3 over 5 into a decimal, you would take the denominator, 5, and divide it into the numerator, 3. 5 would go into 3 0 0.6 or 6 tenths times. Question 7. To model a percent, you would need a grid with how many squares? 10, 100, 1,000, or 10,000? Answer, a percent means a number compared to 100. 70 percent would mean 70 out of 100. The answer would be B. Question eight, which of the following numbers is not a prime number? Is it A, seven, B, 17, C, 27, or D, 37? Answer, a prime number has only two factors, the number itself and one. Seven, 17, and 37 are prime numbers. 
27 also has 3 and 9 as factors. So 27 is not a prime number, it's a composite number. And finally, question number 9. What is the prime factorization of 18? Is it A, 2 times 3 times 3, B, 2 times 9, C, 3 times 6, or D, 2 times 3 times 3 times 3? Answer, B and C contain composite numbers 9 and 6. A is the correct answer. 2 times 3 times 3 is 18. And remember, to pass the star test, the first step to passing the star test is believing you will pass.